Okay. Um, what was the uh, where did we stop last time? Anybody remember? We stop at uh, quantum world and quantum dot. Quantum world and quantum dot. Okay. I asked you to do something, right? Okay, what did I ask you to do? Paris, why are you late? Uh, I'm sorry, madam. Uh, I forgot we're using the assembly. Uh, I'm setting up my camera. Huh? I'm setting up my camera. But I, I don't know whether I can accept that excuse. You forgot that we use the same link. So... Okay, this one's I let it off next time. Nobody should have that the excuse. Huh? Nobody should not remember we are using the same link. Okay. Um so okay, so what did I ask you to do? Ayman? We can't, we can't hear you anything. Hello? Testing? Boleh dah. Ah, see video on PN Junction. Okay. And Madam asked to remind about effect of temperature. Oh, okay. Good. My Sarah, why are you late? My Sarah, why are you late? Can you hear me or not? My Sarah? Okay, why are you late? Answer. Uh, saya orang nak pergi lab. So that's why I lambat masuk. You should go to the lab. Yeah, so wait until the class I'll give you a punishment for coming late okay so anybody who comes late I will give some punishment so if you have to go somewhere make sure you plan accordingly you go earlier so 8 30 sharp everybody in the class regardless you have to go to the lab you have to go to UKM nuclear Malaysia whatever whatever it is you need to plan accordingly. Okay, so, so let's talk about uh, temperature dependence. And after that, uh, we talk about a little bit on mobility. Then after that, we talk about uh, the adjunction. Okay, so are you seeing anything, Manishara? Now temperature dependence uh, is very important um, part of the uh, we want to talk now today about the Temperature dependence. So while waiting for my uh, pencil to charge, uh, what do you think? Uh, what will happen if we change the temperature? If we increase the temperature, okay, be more specific. 
what happens if I, we increase the temperature of the semiconductor material or device? So do not Google, just think. Okay. Performance will be effect. Yes, how? Energy level. Energy level. Oh. Can you say in the full sentence, please? The effect of metal of atom in the semiconductor atom will be electron will go faster, maybe. Say again in one sentence. Clearly, but I don't understand. Uh, carrier uh, will move more faster in semiconductor. Hmm. Do you agree or not, Hana? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> Why not? Um, I would say that if the temperature is increased, there's higher probability for the electrons and holes to be excited for them to jump from valence, for the electrons to jump from valence to covalent band and holes to jump from covalent to Valent to valence band. Yeah. Oh, valence, valence band. <laughs> Be careful. Huh? <laughs> so valence band uh, to the connection band. But uh, do you think what his, his statement is right or wrong? So you, you, you disagree with his statement? I don't I don't know about moving faster. It probably will move faster because it gains energy, but I don't think the statement was complete. BP? I don't think the statement was complete about moving faster, <laughs> I think probably will because it gains energy. Sorry, I didn't like that. <laughs> so it's just flying away, sorry. Mm. Okay, thank you. Um, what do you think, Amalia? Um, I think Hannah's it is much more likely to be true. Repeat? True. Which one is true? Um, the electrons gain more energy to be excited from covert from balance to conduction band. Okay, what about Rahimi's statement? Uh, Rahimi, I didn't really hear about that. Say it again, Rahimi. Listen carefully, Kamala. Carriers uh, will move more, will move faster. Mm. Move faster in terms of two covalent bands or move faster around okay, the... You make the same mistake, covalent, there's no covalent, like sister, brother, covalent. Ah, uh, conduction, and valent. Ah, jangan salah sekali. Once more you make a mistake, I give a punishment for every word that you say wrong. Covalent again, everybody, yeah? No covalent. <laughs> Balance band, conduction band. Ah, uh, so apa je tadi? What's your answer again? Uh, in terms, it move faster in terms of in balance band or to the conduction band. Ah, uh. <laughs> alright, me answer. Answer. Ah, uh, answer. Dia tanya soalan tu, Kamala tanya. Oh, uh, both. Both. Uh, so? For, I think it can be, it can be true because uh, when the temperature increase, the energy band gap, the energy to surpass the energy band gap will increase as well. So it can move faster to the conduction band. Okay. Okay. So uh, I will answer uh, shortly uh, when, we, when we talk about, uh, I will explain about mobility and elastic scattering. Okay, so remind me on that. So uh, remind me on uh, talk, uh, sharing to you about that in order to answer the, uh, the statement of Rahimi. Sometimes it's good to have like weird answer. 
because uh, then it will test whether your understanding is right or wrong. So what Rahimi was saying is not is right, but how is it right? So uh, that's a question. What Hannah answered was also right. Okay, both are right, but um, but but the specific or what Rahimi was saying, uh, you need to know. Otherwise, you hantam promo is faster. So where is it faster? Kamila was asking, is it in the balance band or is it, is it in the connection band? Is it, is it across the band? Which one? Okay. Who can answer that? Is it faster in the balance band or connection band or across the band? Paris. I think also both. Also both. Huh? Also both. Mm, okay. okay. Both tu apa? Ada tiga jawapan ke? Both tiga. Setanya balance band, connection band dengan across the band. Ada tiga. So both tu yang mana? Uh, uh, the, the conductivity of carrier. When the pitch increase uh, from. Can you repeat it again? Not clear. Louder, brother. The effect of the pitch. Uh, uh, from valence. Uh, uh, the effect of the pitch. Huh? Can you say now? Not clear, lah, Faris. Oh, tak clear. Kedua, saya minta. Kali ketiga, saya minta. Saya suruh menyanyi lah terus. Ah, ha. tak clear. Eh. Tahu, tak apa test, 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 ah, test. Kena, kena dekat betul. Oh, you buy a new mic. Okay, so. Uh, the conductivity when the temperature increase. Uh, the the, ele the electron will more excite and the hole will be more excite. You are not answering the question. I'm, 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 we are talking about fast speed. Oh. So? I'm not sure to answer. <laughs> I will hold to answer. Huh? Why not sure? I already taught you, right? How to think. So you, you, should, you should be able to think. And then tembak je lah And then think Sometimes uh, This The reason why I ask you in class So that I want you to think It's okay if the answer is wrong At least you Thinking Then when I, I tell the answer Then then Hopefully it will stick Because you have started thinking Then you know what you make mistake Kalau you tak fikir All of you Kalau tak fikir You just memorize So dia susah sikit nak uh, to, to be part of your In your In your brain Okay, never mind. Sorry, I do. So it's okay. The panic fikir lagi ah. So right. So I'm just a uh, curious. All of you, all are all of you in the mahala, and or uh, anybody not in the mahala. Hana, when you going off? Madam, I'm already in Qatar. <laughs> you already in Qatar, okay lah. It's it's three forty six a.m. right now. <laughs> Uh, 3 a.m.? Yeah, it's 3.46 a.m. <laughs> I've been Good. waking up at 3 a.m. for like two weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So you can do <laughs> PM early over there. All right. Okay lah. So I was thinking to do a face-to-face -face exam. Maknanya tak ada apa-apa lah. So it will be open book. All right. So for that, saya nak buat close book. Okay, now um, let's go here. So let's look at temperature dependence. So, so what you, what you said was right. I mean, so as you increase the temperature, as you increase the temperature, what happens is like what uh, Hana was uh, answered was spot on, where you have uh, uh, the probability of the electron to increase is more. So for example, so for example, if the temperature is low, if the temperature is low, only maybe one electron 
uh, have the enough energy to be excited. But if you have more, uh, more, uh, if you increase the temperature here, what happens is you have more electron that able to be excited to go to the conduction band and vice versa. Vice versa meaning uh, the elect the hole will also uh, you have more band to band generation. Okay, temperature increase more band to band generation. Temperature increase more band to band generation, therefore more free carriers. Okay, semiconductor are very sensitive to temperature, especially if the band gap is smaller. So if I give you a uh, two two example like this. Sample A, sample B. So, which one is more temperature sensitive, A or B? A. Uh, apa Raimi? A. Raimi answer A. How about uh, apa? Elmi? Uh, I'm also thinking B. Huh? B? A. A? The first one, yes. Okay, why? Uh, because I have smaller energy band yet. So if the temperature increase only a little, the electron already excited from valence to conduction band. Repeat again your last sentence. Uh, smaller band gap, easier for uh, electron to increase energy by heating, by increase energy. Uh, uh, increase energy. Increase, increase energy. energy. Uh, excited, excited, excited. From conduction and from balance to conduction. Hmm. Okay, let's use the word probability. So if it's the, the band gap is smaller, the probability of the electron to be excited is higher because less energy required uh, uh, for the electron to surpass the, the band gap. You can use this word or similar words as long as I understand and your wording is not contradicting with another mechanism. That's all. So you can use uh, your own words, but make sure your own words has no other meaning. So uh, if there is other meaning, then, uh, then you're in trouble. Okay. So for example, here, it only require one EV. Here, require two EV. Right. So therefore, this is more difficult for electron here to be generated. Okay, so that's good. So which means that a higher band gap uh, is more temperature stable. Okay, bigger band gap is more temperature stable. So uh, and therefore uh, less noise uh, with temperature because when you when you when it's very sensitive to temperature like this, uh, any variation, sometimes, especially when you want to do photo detector, especially when photo detector is, photo detector uh, mechanism is about um, generation. They use generation mechanism in order to detect. So, so other than, we want only detection of light that come in, but, because of this, maybe this uh, this semiconductor is a sensitive temperature, you will get generation not only due to the light, but also by the temperature. And the generation due to, due to the temperature is uh, we call, what we call noise. Okay, noise. So we have detector, you have noise. Where the noise coming from? One of the main reason for semiconductor detector, the reason uh, uh, the noise coming from the temperature because it's sensitive to temperature. Okay, all right, so that's good. Temperature dependent, so we talk about temperature already. Uh, so, so this temperature dependence, this increase in temperature is affecting band to band. Uh. Band to band. So if, if, uh, if it's extrinsic, it means P-dope, so N-dope or P-dope, uh, even with a small temperature, all of the electron in the end dope will be will be going to the conduction band. So not much. So if you have to remember, 
when we have a, for example, you have a semiconductor which is endo, like this. You know, this is endo. Although, so most of the free carriers at room temperature will be due to this doping. But you also have to remember that although most at room temperature, maybe this is dominant. But if you keep on increasing the temperature, you also, it's, this is also have like intrinsic characteristics. So intrinsic means you will have generation band to band. So, uh, so therefore, at normal, normal temperature, this doping will be dominant. But as very, at very high temperature, you start to see increase of free carriers due to this band to band generation. Although this is an doping. Okay, any question? Hmm? No question? If no question, ada soalan tak ni? Uh, madam. Yes. Will semiconductor will be damaged? Okay, good question. Uh, Aiman, what do you think? Aiman, you there? Uh, yes, madam. Hmm. I think temperature dependence will affect the semiconductor device. You are okay. You do. You are not answering directly. Uh, or defect. Okay, uh, Rahimi, what's your question? Will semiconductor will be damaged if more temperature? Okay, I mind. Uh, I think. Uh, yes. How? Um, how? I'm not sure. <laughs> but... Huh? Why you answer yes? Um... Huh? Wait. Wait? I'm not sure yet, we don't. Say mm. that. Who wants to help Aiman? Anybody wants to help Aiman here? Anybody wants to? Uh, maybe because uh -huh. uh, when in the every semiconductor has its own like boiling point. So when the more temperature, the uh the it will go to like uh liquid liquid stuff something like that liquid yeah interesting so it damage yeah okay liquid yeah uh, open a bakar semiconductor uh no no cuba lepas ni bakar try to you know go get your handphone something got a chip you burn it you you put temperature right you put high temperature what will happen is you become liquid? <laughs> so, interesting point, but it doesn't become liquid. What happens is if the temperature is very high, um, uh, to, to the extent that uh, it will damage, uh, to the extent if it's very high, um, you will have, uh, what do you call it? It depends how temperature too very high. Uh, it depends if it's a device, uh, the device will not work due to too much carriers. Too much carriers will increase heat inside and then therefore, uh, to the extent you, you will burn the, uh, the, the device. But now tengok, have you seen uh, a diode that suddenly when you're first year using a diode, suddenly you see smoke coming out because you, you, you wrongly connected it in the circuit. Have you seen it before? Yeah, somebody at some IC, somebody uh, sometimes give out smoke, right? So when that happens, actually, uh, smoke is when it's damaged. You you short circuit, the current is too high. You have localized heating, and you melt the. Uh, it becomes the uh, tobacco You you the you it becomes uh, uh, because uh, it becomes the atoms will be. How does it work? Uh, so. So what happens is too much high temperature, what will happen is 
number one, maybe the atom will be displaced. Displaced ni means the atom move. Normally, atom doesn't move, right? Only carriers move, electron pool. But, but if the temperature is very high, the atom itself moves. It has energy to move, right? So, so like deformed? Huh? Is it like deformed? Yes. So when the atom moves, it becomes deformed. But if it's even higher, uh, what you see as smoke uh, normally is the when you see uh, as smoke is normally the the plastic packaging uh, of the of your diode actually burn. That's why you see smoke. So semiconductor basically it will it will damage the the structure. Therefore, it will not work as a semiconductor anymore. The atom is all over the place. Okay. All right. Any more question? Um, Madam, for the end type, you don't want to just explain right now with the Fermi level. Mm -hmm. uh, I I somehow didn't quite get it yet. Like I um, like I didn't understand. Like uh, which part you don't understand? The 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 diagram on the left with the n type and the Fermi level. Yes, which part you don't understand? Like the explanation just now. When when it, when it comes when it comes to temperature. And and the Fermi level, like it just um. How do I say? understand this? Yeah, that one. Anybody understand this? Aris, can you explain this? What just now? Uh, what I what I remember that more uh, the bigger the band gap, uh, so the no, we are not talking about the bigger the band gap. We're talking about for me level and type now. Uh, Hana, Ikram, Ikram, Ikram. Tak tanya lagi hari ni senyap Ikram lah. Ikram, can you? Can you answer? Um, what is the question again? The question again, brother. Listen to the question carefully, lah, brother. Next time, everybody, and then repeat question when you're ha. Brother, ask the question again. I was saying is that I didn't uh, understand uh, the explanation behind the the diagram. Fermi level and conduction and valence when we only do when, uh, when there is on temperature. Um, Can you ask in one clear sentence, Ahmad? Very clear, fast and uh, fast, uh, fast sentence, not like. Okay, easy. explain what's happening there <laughs> with the, with the Fermi level. Do you understand, Ikram? Yes. Um, but, basically. Um, the Fermi level for n um will be like this. For p it will near to the valence, valence band. But for n the Fermi level will be near to the conduction. Was that your question, Ahmad? No, no. My question was, like, what's what's happening at this very moment, in, like, in the diagram? Like, I mean... For the end type, you mentioned that the uh, the Fermi level is is closer to the conduction band. That's that's clear. And for the p type, it's closer to the valence band. But uh, question, uh, Ahmad, he doesn't understand your question. Can you ask uh, ask your question clearly so that he can answer it? Hmm. The, the question is: You mentioned something related to temperature in that uh, in that diagram, but I I just I didn't. Like I, I missed it. Or I didn't get it. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand what, what's, what's happening there. Yes, I understand. I just want Ikram to understand. I want everybody to understand you. It's about communication. Not only me understand. Everybody should understand when we ask question, right? Yeah. So Ikram, do you understand his question? Mm. So, what's your answer? Yes. Um, when the when there is increase in temperature, the number of poles will increase for any type. The level of? Poles. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> Is, was that <laughs> okay? Interesting. Ikram, thank you for your answer. It's clearly that maybe you also don't, didn't understand when I explained just now. Let's try somebody else. Uh, so, I'm uh, Elmi. Elmi, you help. You help Ahmad here. Um, I'm also do not understand the uh, mental yeah. expression, but uh -huh. uh, this is what I can uh, gather. Uh, so the end type, uh, the end type for my level is closest to the conduction band. So when temperature increase, so there is a excitation uh, from valence to the uh, conduction band. Uh, that's all I can understand. Repeat. Uh, the formal level for N type uh, is closer to conduction band, but when temperature increase, the there is a generation the excitation uh, from balance to conduction band. That's all. Like and then you said something about formal level changing, or I do not understand that part. No, I didn't say about formal level changing. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Ahmad, do you understand his answer? Yeah, so what I understood is that so when there's no temperature, the Fermi level at the conduction band. Uh, when there's no temperature? Or when basically when, when temperature is not applied. Is that, is that right, Elmi? Zero Kelvin? No, I room temperature. No, room zero temperature. Kelvin. Okay. I, I room temperature. So and then and then when temperature is applied, then uh, like higher than room temperature. Yes, hmm. basically you need the, to be accurate now. Then yeah, so the probability of excitation is uh, is higher, where from for the from the for valence band to the conduction band and vice versa, is that correct? Yes, at very high temperature. Then the intrinsic carrier concentration plays a role. Although it's this is the extrinsic semiconductor. Okay, because intrinsic means band to band generation. If you still remember how you get free carriers in intrinsic carrier, uh, intrinsic semiconductor. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You understand now? Any more question? No. Any more question? You know, I will go to mobility now. All all that kind of question comes in the final exam. You know, I like the third question about temperature dependence. But I'll put in terms of application later on with PN junction, with photo detector, with solar cell. But the concept is you need to understand the concept to be applied to a device. If you don't understand the concept, you can apply it to a device. Okay, so, so all this slide you can see in my Google Classroom. So uh, now we go to slide number two, we talk about mobility. So you, you know about conductivity, we talk about conductivity before resistivity, just the opposite of conductivity, and we have mobility, okay? Now, can I give like one minute, maybe 30 seconds, huh? can you go and find the relationship between mobility and conductivity? The equation uh, when I say relationship the equation between mobility and conductivity if you got the answer let me know Anybody?
or if you cannot find it, find the relationship between mobility and current. Is it the equation, madam? What did you say? Equation. Ah, uh, yes. Conductivity equation, yes. You found it? Yeah. Um, yeah. What's the relationship? Um, conductivity equals to carry density times electric charge times electron mobility. Or should I? The electronic charge times the number of free carriers times what? Electronic free uh, carrier density. And? Uh, carrier density, electric charge, and uh, electron mobility. Mm. Okay, good. Finish. Okay, uh, his conductivity is the electronic charge times the carrier density, means how much free carriers per unit volume, volume, volume per, per unit area, you can check later, and then this is the mobility, okay, so what is mobility, mobility is the how easy uh, the electrons or holes will move inside a material. Okay, mobility is a measure of how easy uh, an electron hole move inside a semiconductor. Not semiconductor, any material. So let's say we have a material like this. Uh. So I'm drawing the lattice now. Make it big so you can all see. So this, if this is a semiconductor material, right? So electron, for example, electron has to move from here, from left to right, from left to right here. Okay. So so the what? How the electron electron need to go there, right? So mobility is how easy this electron move inside a semiconductor material so so it depends on many things so for example if, if this is the case and i draw another one okay so the black is dot here is the atom so if i guess case a and case b which one is easier for the electron to move a or B? Ikram? A. Huh? A. Why? Because um, if there is more space yeah, for the electron to move. Okay, good. So one of the... So there are many reasons that affect the mobility. One of it is the type of material. So different material, di different semiconductor material will have different mobility. So because one of the reason is due to how the arrangement of the atom. So, so one, there are many other things. Another important uh, thing that affects the mobility for a... So this mobility, you can... How do you know the mobility of a semiconductor? You can Google it. It's many in many uh, journal paper in textbooks they report they do experiment and they, they they come up with the mobility of a certain material so you can this is well known you can go and find it out so later let's say for uh, for example for your final exam when you ask to design something you have to look in many angles mobility conductivity temperature uh, band gap lattice mismatch lattice so normally my question is very general. I'll say, okay, design a photo detector with this condition, la, 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 la. I pick, I give a spec. So you have to go and search the internet and we, and then thinking, what is the best uh, material to choose and why? 
and not only material, everything, mobility. When you say material, so you have to uh, justify why this kind of material because one, two, three, four, five, six. So the more, the higher the marks, the more detail you should be in terms of justification or why you select certain things and what are the structure. For example, is it heterostructure? Homo, uh, is it homo junction? Uh, hetero junction, is it quantum well, quantum door, is it, you know, all these things. And you need to justify why all the way. Normally, uh, design question is a lot. Sometimes 20, 25 questions out of 100. So if you screw that up, uh, yeah, you know, one third already gone, your, your marks for the final exam. So so therefore, all these things that I, I thought you should be, you know, you should like cuff it up, use it when you answer the design question later. Okay, so so good. So so A A has a uh, higher mobility. Okay, so not only the material. Now I want to talk about the temperature effect to the mobility. So the temperature effect to the mobility. So if you can imagine this electron here, it's like a car. Let me draw a car. So if the electron like a car, right? Uh, can you all of you drive a car? Anybody have no driving license? Hmm? Everybody can drive? Yes, madam. No. Kamala, no. So only Kamala cannot drive. Uh, but you can imagine, right? You are driving a car. So when you... Go, uh, and you are driving a car and you have obstacles like this okay so 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 you need to like make sure you you avoid the the obstacles atoms neutron and proton the nucleus is the obstacle so you cannot bump into the into the nucleus so you need to go around the nucleus for you to go over here you want to go here now so, so it's difficult, but you it's bearable. You can still drive through. So imagine now each of this uh each of these now obstacle is moving. Okay, so it just is it's like moving like this. Okay, so are you driving? The obstacles are moving. Is it easier or more difficult for you to? for you to uh, drive from this place to another that, that place. It's difficult. More difficult, why? Because uh, they might come in my way, you know. They yeah, might... because you don't know. Sometimes it's because it's, it's vibrating, uh, it's moving. Sometimes it go here, sometimes big, sometimes small. So you need to like estimate. Mm. So, so the thing is, when you increase the temperature here, when you increase the temperature, what happens is the lattice will vibrate. Okay, the lattice will, when we say the lattice will vibrate, it means each atom here will vibrate. When it vibrates, it makes it more difficult for the carriers to move. Therefore, it will reduce the conductivity. Therefore, it will reduce the current. Okay, so the current is, uh, so the, this is the equation of current in terms of mobility. So mobility reduce, current reduce. But so 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 when you increase the temperature, so in one time in a semiconductor, that's why a semiconductor is not a straightforward um what do you call it uh, uh question. If I ask a question in the exam, you have to think of many angles. So it doesn't mean that at one time only one mechanism occurring. It can be that at one time multiple things are have happening. So you need to think and decide what's happening. Okay. So I just I give one example here. So it doesn't mean that only this. Other things also apply. So I'm teaching you all different mechanisms, but in the exam when you're given the question, you need to think what are the possible mechanisms that can occur. Not only one. I'm teaching you separately one by one. But when the question comes, you need to think. Uh, is does this mechanism come? How about the other one? So you need to give a full answer. For example, here, if you increase the temperature, what happens is the mobility will reduce. Hence, current will reduce, right? However, you know that if you increase temperature, 
you have more generation. If you have more generation, it means that you have more free carriers. Therefore, you have more current. So there are two competing mechanisms uh, as you increase the temperature. Okay, so it depends on, um, uh, it depends, so how you answer, normally in the, in the end, what happens, I, sometimes I don't, uh, I don't explain what kind of temperature, even if I say 1000 Celsius. So you need to, to have common sense at how, what, how, how big is 1000 Celsius? How small is 77K? What is zero Kelvin? Uh, what is room temperature? So sometimes I will ask question that you need to use a little bit of your common sense. Uh, so, so for example, room temperature is 300 Kelvin. So, so that, so it so it's around three hundred Kelvin, maybe thirty degrees C. So if I say uh, I increase the temperature to one thousand Celsius, so you need to convert to Kelvin, uh, in order to understand. So one thousand Celsius, what happens already to the semiconductor? That is when you use your common sense answer. Okay, I will not give you the answer now. So now going back to here. So the other thing that uh with mobility is mobility decrease. With temperature you increase the temperature you decrease the mobility okay so okay so because later we talk about, i want to talk about drift and diffusion current okay drift what is drift current what is diffusion current in order for you to understand the pn junction so so factors influence some factors that influence mobility is temperature. If you increase the temperature, what happens is uh, you have like this scattering. What is uh, okay? Let's talk about the velocity saturation as scattering here. So, okay, let me go back to my. Velocity scattering. Yeah. Uh, velocity saturation. So if you plot the the graph of velocity of the velocity of the carrier here, electron or hole. So this electron car speeds have a speed, have a velocity, right? So so we can measure the velocity of the carriers. So if you plot the graph of the velocity of the carrier versus um, electric field. Okay, what does electric field means here? For example, now I put a positive uh, here negative. So my electron here would like to go there. Okay, so this, so I'm a, when I apply a voltage, if I apply a voltage over a distance, I will get electric field. Electric field is just voltage across distance. Okay, electric field is just voltage across distance. So I'm applying a voltage here. Across the distance, I have electric field. So, so if I apply, so, so for case one here, I apply this red voltage. So my electron will flow uh, with a certain speed. So if I increase the voltage to become like this, right, to the purple one here, so what happens is more drive, you will push more. The electron here will, will move faster towards this. So the higher the electric field, the faster the electron will move. Okay, it's like uh, you are it's like you are putting a lot of petrol to the car. Uh no, it's not a put it up. You press the you press the you press the, up the gas in the car. So if you, when you have more of the uh, electric field, you are you put more pressure to the gas or the petrol so it will move faster so that's the relationship so if you increase the electric field the voltage eh, the voltage the, the velocity this velocity yeah what happens to the velocity if you increase the, the electric field also increase okay, so it's proportional increase. good so it will increase like this will it increase forever to infinity the answer is no. Nothing goes to infinity except for Allah. Nothing is infinite. So interesting. Everything, nothing, nothing in physics. Uh, although like 
theoretically uh, you should this should increase you keep on increasing uh, the you should uh, you keep on increasing the electric fee you should uh what the the velocity of the carriage should increase but no there will be a one stage the velocity will saturate Even you put more voltage there, the electron here will no longer move faster. Why? Uh, this is one of the reason is due to. Uh, so again, if you if you imagine a car. If you you are driving a car, right? So you want to go through this. So let's say there's no. There's no even if there's no phenomenon, let this scattering. Lattice scattering, no lattice scattering, but normal normal condition temperature, normal temperature, but you are speeding. Okay, so your 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 apa nama ni? Your apa nama? Salah. For example, this uh, you you are driving, but you speed, you you drive very fast. How is it? Uh, what is the probability of you hitting the obstacles? Ikram. At normal temperature. Uh, at normal temperature, but you are speeding now. Um, I think the probability of electron to hit is lesser because the less less. Yes, less because the, the what what is called that? Huh? The atom. Uh, that's that's not very big. But you are speeding. Yeah, but there is no obstacle. The obstacle is still there. But there is much more space. <laughs> yeah, but now you are speeding. Now, now speeding and without speeding. The comparison is you speed and you don't speed. Maybe you speed. Oh. So now you, you normally you you normally you drive at hundred kilometer per hour. Now you drive five hundred kilometer per hour. Have you ever drove five hundred? I think no. Your car cannot go to five hundred. I don't know. Can your car go to five hundred? Um, my car cannot lah. So let's imagine you can go five hundred kilometer per hour. So how is the probability of hitting this? Much more higher. Ah, uh, why? Because we cannot control the the movement of yeah. the electron. So, so the same with carriers, okay? The same with carriers. So when you are driving, when the carriers are, are moving at very high speed here, uh, there will become a, 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 a stage at the electric field when it be, uh, where you cannot control the car anymore. It will start hitting. So you, you because it's too fast, it will keep on hitting. But it's still speeding, heat speed, heat speed. So what happens is overall, and as an average, you will see some saturation. So there's a although there's a saturation of velocity of the carrier uh, at a certain uh, at a certain electric field. Okay, all right. So this is another concept that I'm I'm telling you. Any question? So you have the concept of temperature and the concept of speeding. <laughs> At very high, at very high, a very high velocity. Any question here? Hello, no question. Everybody understand? Okay, great. If everybody understand, then okay. So, so I want you to find out the. This is you study on your own. It's very simple. This is an A level physics. SPM physics. What is the relationship between conductivity to mobility to number of electrons and holes? And how does that relate to resistivity with temperature? So conductivity with temperature. So we talk about mobility with temperature. Then con what, that, what is the relationship between conductivity and temperature? That's on, on your own to study. I can ask in the exam. So if you don't understand, you ask me next class about this. So And then another thing. How does resistivity with impurity concentration or conductivity with impurity concentration? You understand this question?
Aiman? No, I don't. I don't understand. Why you don't understand? What do you mean you don't understand? Ask me a question. Uh, what is mean by impurity? Tak aku dengar lah. Oh, uh, what is mean by impurity concentration, madam? Okay. Uh, Hana, what does impurity concentration mean? Um, doesn't it mean uh, how much the semiconductor has been doped? Yes, but like the level of concentration doping. is the same as doping concentration. <coughs> it's doping concentration. So which so now do you understand the question, everybody? Yes, madam. Okay. So can you answer this? How does the let's talk about conductivity lah, resistivity ni dia macam opposite sikit. Kita kena twist otak kita payah sikit. What is the relationship between conductivity and impurity concentration? Does that affect? You put more doping. How about the conductivity? It will increase or decrease? Increase. Why? Because it's doped with other materials. I, I mean, as we are taught that when doping happens, the purpose of doping is to increase conductivity. Why is, it, yeah, why is it increase? Why is the conductivity increase? Why? Hmm? Ahmad? Why? Anybody else wants to try? Why does the why the conductivity increase with impurity concentration? Give me specific answer. Because in the exam, I'll be looking for specific answer. If you answer like Ahmad just now, maybe if I'm uh, kind enough, I give 50%. Because it's not really answering. Uh, who wants to try? You know this. I just we just need to say it. Paris. I'm not sure maybe. Mana oh, kita nak not sure kita dah belajar ni. Ha uh, Rahimi. Rahimi. Remember? Ah. Uh. So why is it increase the as you increase the impurity concentration, the conductivity increase? Is that right? Uh yes. Why? Increase increase because will increase on energy level. Oh no. Why <coughs> Yes, Hannah. Um, because when we dope, we're either increasing the number of electrons or holes. Yes. So the probability of it, them getting excited is it increased because there's more? No, no, no. The, the, oh, uh, sorry. First, you started correct, then. <laughs> so the because answer... there's more. There's more carriers now. Yes, you know yeah. connectivity. Um. The, the concentration increase because you have more free carriers. If you do it, you have more free carriers, right? So, so that's why the conductivity increase. So if you look at equation of conductivity, okay, if you look at the equation for conductivity, let me share my iPad now. So if you, this is the equation for conductivity. Is the equation for conductivity. Okay, which means that number of free carriers increase, conductivity will increase. But it's not only depending on the free carriers, it also depends on the mobility. So my question is if the impurity concentration increase, how does that affect the mobility? If I increase the doping concentration or the other name is impurity concentration, how does that 
affect my mobility. Hmm. Anybody decreases. wants to Sorry? It decreases. Why? Less space to move. Why? Because there's more carriers in, in one confined space. From my from my like explanation and how I view it is because there are more carriers. The carriers are too small. You you is very uh, is uh, you know you know the relationship between. Although I draw like this, my my drawing here is not accurate uh, because I because I cannot draw to scale. You know no. if I draw to scale, how does this in relation to this one? You know, the relationship of the nucleus to the size of an electron. After this, you Google. Lah. Yeah. It's like the relationship of uh, Earth to the star, uh, to the sun. It's like one million times bigger. Sun is like 1.4 million times in volume bigger than Earth. Uh, okay. uh, Earth. So similarly, electron is very small as compared to um, the atom. So it's like like there's no it's not significant for the electron to collide among uh, electron hole to collide among them okay other yeah. answer but good uh, I, yes i think the mobility of free carriers will increase why because the uh resistivity decrease good no 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 why physics then oh. Resistivity yang lebih besar. Mobility ni bawah daripada resistivity. So it doesn't make sense to your, the way you answer. Okay. Other people? Because move slower, Madam. Apa slower? Aku ni cuba uh, ayat penuh boleh tak? Atau penat? Nak kena lapang. Nak kena kelancar. Uh, because concentration increase. So... Banyak uh, benda jadi slow, slower. Why slow? Ah, uh, because concentration increase. Concentration of what? Of uh, carriers. Carriers? Ah. Uh. Okay, repeat your answer in one sentence. I'm trying to understand what's the problem. Ah, ah, mobility will. Mobility of carriers will decrease. Hi, my brother. We are, yeah, we are now. We are talking about what what happened. Also, the reason. Not only what happened. So I understand you say the mobility decrease, but why? Now we are discussing why, brother. Can you say in one one clear sentence so that I understand? Everybody understand. Hmm? No, we don't. Huh? No, we don't. Tak tahu nak cakap. Tak tahu nak cakap pula. Orang lain? Madam, is it to do with the lattice structure? Or... Closer, warmer. Okay. Um. Because, is it like, you had the, there's a second diagram below this one where it's more compact, right? Is uh -huh. it? Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to think further. <laughs> think a little bit more. Okay, I'll get back. To you. <laughs> you get back to me. Uh, is, the, is the answer? Uh, yes. Is the answer that the mobility will increase? No, it will decrease. Uh, it the will decrease. Okay. Will decrease because increased number of collision judgment. Who's answering? No. Ikram, can you say again? The mobility will decrease because number of collision of charge carrier increase. Collision between what and what? Three carrier, charge carrier. The carrier. Between what and what? Um, electron and atom. And? Atom. Okay, answer it again in one sentence. The mobility will decrease okay. because the number of collision between electron and atom increase. Atom apa tadi? The collision between electron and atom. 
Okay. You say oh, the sentence, the full sentence again. Why you say kalau cerita phrase ni? Sebab dia, dia, I don't, I don't get. And as I mentioned, semiconductor device is very precise. So I need to know the whole thing. I cannot assume because if I teach assumption to you, you will assume in your head. Tak boleh. I need to hear the whole sentence again, Ikram. Um, the mobility will decrease because the number of collision between electron and atom this apa yang hujung tu tak dengar the last the last the last word i repeat again with them i'm sorry i'm sorry okay tak apa make sure dia hard last dia word last dia saya tak dengar okay okay go on the mobility and decreases because the number of collision Dia mute, madam. Apa? Dia mute? Ya Allah. Uh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mute pula. <laughs> ya Allah. The, mob the mobility decrease because the number of collision between electron and atom increase. Increase? Yes. Okay. So, what atom? Which atom? The dot. So, you are very warm. So, now I'm going very specific. Which atom? Huh, Ikra? I'm not sure. Uh, lattice scattering or what? Yes, it's true. There's more lattice scattering, but I'm asking lattice scattering due to which atom? I'm not sure. About that. Not sure? Yes. Sure, okay. So brothers and sisters, so you need to imagine uh, set up draw. Because this this is when I draw this, this is intrinsic semiconductor. Why? How do I know this is intrinsic semiconductor? See the atom nicely there. You know, but when, when you add impurities, doping, suddenly you will have atom. Oh, not this color. Suddenly you have at another atom here, another atom here, another atom here, which is you know each. One, 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 for example, one phosphorus gives out one free electron for silicon, right? So, so these impurities, it will fill in the blank. Because the, when you have a pure semiconductor, you add impurities where the atom goes. So the, so the pink here is the impurity, the, do, uh, the doping. So can you imagine, at, oh, it's the same concept. This carrier is like no doping, no doping very easily move. With some doping, doping may be uh, okay lah, still doesn't affect much. But if the doping is very high, right? If the doping very high, what happens is, you will see like this everywhere. So the obstacles are everywhere. So the higher the doping, the less mob the mobility is decrease. Okay, because there are more of the dopant atom. Yang jawab soalan saya tanya ikram tu kan. So, so which collision the carriers here? Electron will collide with the atom of the of the semiconductor material and also of the dopping. Dia akan hit dua-dua. So, dia hit semua benda. So, therefore the mobility decrease. Therefore the speed decrease. Okay, so it means that there's a competing mechanism uh, if you uh, increase, uh, if you put a uh, carrier, uh, you put doping. Generally, uh, doping at, at, at a normal rate, norm, what is normal? 10 to the power 23 is normal. Go and find out, go and find out what are the normal doping. So, but if, if you 10, 10 to the power 23 per centimeter cube of a dopant, then you, you will increase the connectivity because why? The N increase. However, uh, mobility is okay, la. it's not very dominant. But if it's very high, you, you dope it like 10 to power 50, you dump, <laughs> you know, uh, impurities over there. What happens is, although this increase, the mobility will reduce. So they are the competing mechanism. So at one point, even though you, you cram all doping concentration, the conductivity will not, not increase, it will decrease. So that's in life, huh? in life, nothing, Nothing goes high forever. There's always other things will balance things. That's why equilibrium in the end. So nothing will go like to infinite. 
So even you put more, 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 the carrier concentration will increase. However, more atom mobility decrease at one time, this mobility become this mobility problem becomes dominant. Okay, any question? Hmm? Any question? No? Uh, uh, yes, madam. Yes. I have a question. Is that uh -huh. possible to reduce doping in a uh, single character? You mean it's already doped? You want to reduce it? Ah, uh, I want to reduce it. Not possible. Uh, if okay. it's already dope, uh, you can reduce the free carriers by adding more dopant. Mm -hmm. Yang saya kata carrier compensation before. Carrier compensation. Oh. You can reduce the number of free carriers by adding carrier compensation. But in the end, you're just adding more impurity atom inside. So they cancel mm -hmm. out. So maknanya dia lagi, in terms of mobility, it's not good. Walaupun dia akan cram kat situ, free carriers reduce, tapi banyak atom dalam dalam semiconductor material tu. Okay. Any more question? So, if no question, uh, drift and diffusion current. Now, this is very important. Have you read about drift and diffusion current? There are two main, two. This is extremely important, uh, brothers and sisters. There are two. This is like basic of all basics. If you don't know this, you will fail semiconductor device. In semiconductor, there are two. Example, I talk I talk about two uh, carriers, right? Inside inside semiconductor electron holes. So also in a semiconductor, there are two basic carrier mechanism. Two basic carrier mechanism in a semiconductor. When I say basic, the minimum that you should know. But there are many other carrier mechanism. Pull Frankel uh, You have like um, uh, hopping mechanism. There are many like complicated mechanism but as a minimum we should know there should be there will be two main uh, mechanism uh, in current mechanism how how do you get current inside semiconductor one is called drift and one is called diffusion the drift uh, the drift current is due to the due to electric field so the keyword is electric field applied to anti uh, to semiconductor so when you say about drift current, you can have, because we have two types of carriers, electron and hole. So you can have electron drift current and hole drift current. There are two different currents. Okay, so you can have electron drift current and you can also have hole drift current. So uh, both, both may have different values. Okay, so the key for drift current is when you apply electric field. Remember just now I draw, I put a voltage, right? across a, a distance so I apply electric field so when I have electric field I have current what is current again is a net flow of carriers per unit time okay what is current net flow of carriers per unit time so when we talk about drift current it's a specific current which is due to electric field whenever you apply a voltage across the distance to any carrier you will have drift current okay and this is the equation for drift current for electron so drift current equals to uh, this. Uh, basically, maybe we talk about this, the, the electronic charge, electron charge, times the carrier density, times the, elect the velocity. Remember, we talk about the velocity of the carrier. So if the velocity of carrier times the number of free carriers times the elect electronic charge, you will get the current density. What is current density? Current density is... Uh, current I, current per unit area. This J here, J here is current density. Current density is current per unit area, bukan volume. So untuk current ni memang pelik sikit dia. The current density is the current per unit area. So um, so if you, if you want current, instead of current density, you multiply everything here with A, with the area. Okay, so with the area. Uh, now, uh, so so this is also this the same. This uh, velocity of the electron, you can um, expand it to be in terms of mobility and uh, electric field. So if, if mobility times electric field, you get velocity. Okay. So um, therefore, so so all the things that you learned before, you need to because in the end, why we're learning all this mobility, lattice scattering, everything. 
is because we want to know how does that affect the current. Because as an electronic engineer, in the end, what's important is the current because we measure current, right? Uh, so, so it's a so so when you multiply the electric field with the electric uh, with the the electric field with the mobility and the carrier concentration with electronic charge, you get current density. And the key, I repeat like 10 times already, the key for drift current is electric field. Whenever there's electric field, you will get drift current. Okay, that's the key. So, so as I said, you have drift current for electron. You also have drift current for holes. So the current will also... But the direction of the current is opposite. Electron will move from here to here. The hole will be will be will be moving to the opposite direction of the electric field. Uh, so for example, no. Uh, so for example, the elect for example here, the movement of the electron here is the opposite direction of electric field because electron can be neg negative. It will move the opposite direction of electric field, and the current is in the same direction of the electric field. If it's a hole, if it's a hole, uh, the the current you have electric field applied to the hole, the hole will move in the same direction of electric field. Therefore, the same direction of the current. Okay. So if you look here, the equation are similar, except for the direction. Yeah, yang tadi negative, yang ni positive. So you have the electron concentration times the con the number of free carriers per. Uh, Free hole per unit, uh, per, per unit, uh, per unit uh, volume, times the uh, mobility times the electric field. Okay, so the key is electric field. When you have electric field applied to semiconductor, the hole will also move, but the hole will move in the opposite direction of the electron. So then, uh, let's talk about that's drift. Then we have another. Uh, so therefore, in a the total current, the total drift current in the semiconductor will be the sum of the current due to the drift current due to the electron and the drift current due to the hole. So it's a sum. So we're going to tambah dua. Okay. All right. Now, now the other the other type of uh, current which is called the diffusion current. Okay. So the the key for drift current just now is whenever there's electric field. Uh, applied to a semiconductor, you, can, you will have drift. The diffusion is not due to, uh, dif uh, you will have diffusion current when there is a difference in concentration of the free carriers. So if you have a, like, if you can imagine in, during your SPM, the A-levels, you know, experiment, you have like a box and you have the, the gas. So you have, remember the gas, uh, higher concentration of gas, it will move to the lower concentration, right? Right, so the, the same concept with the electron hole. Electron will move from high concentration to low. Hole also will move from high concentration to low, even though there's no drift, even though there's no electric field. And this mechanism of current flow due to difference in concentration is called diffusion current. Okay, so the keyword here, this is basic you need to, because we'll be using this again and again later on, you will listen to this. So diffusion current is due to uh, difference in concentration. So we move from, so this is the equation for, for the electron, the electron uh, current density, diffusion current density equation here equals to the electronic charge times dn. dn here is the electron diffusion coefficient. This dn here, depending on the material. So the different material have different dn. So how do you know what's the value? You can find in textbook, journal paper, you can Google it, okay? People have done it's the, same, the same as mobility. People had you need to do experiment in order to know what's the, the value of the end for, for each different material. And then uh, not only that, uh, so you have this times the electron diffusion coefficient times the n over the x. The n over the x is the gradient of the carrier concentration. The bigger the difference, you know, higher, lower concentration, the bigger the difference, the more current will flow. Okay, so you have more different, uh, then, so this diffusion current flows due to different carrier concentration. So the bigger the difference, the more gradient you have, therefore the higher the current. 
Okay, so uh, okay. So for for example, for the this is for the whole. Uh, the whole is uh, you will get the same equation, the electronic charge times the whole diffusion coefficient, electron diffusion coefficient and whole diffusion uh, diffusion coefficient are two different things, two different numbers. So they have different characteristics. And then therefore, and then times the uh, difference or gradient in terms of the carrier concentration. Okay, so the the total uh, the total diffusion current inside a semiconductor device will be this plus that. So the JP plus JN. Okay, any question? Oh, we 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 over the time. So you can read this. Go make sure you understand this diffusion and drift. We'll discuss about PN. Don't forget about the PN junction that you watch already the the video. We'll talk about that next class. I think we'll have a quiz next week because we, I finished the basics. So next week we have our first quiz. Uh, it will cover everything from starting until today. Okay, everything from starting until today, we will be having your quiz one. Okay, and it will be closed book. It will be closed book. Any question before we end? Like quick question. Uh, Madam, what is the password for today? Okay, the password for today will be um, lattice scattering. Okay, thank you. Let's end with the doa. Can we have a brother whose turn is it to recite the doa, please? Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Hamdan ya fi ni'mahu wa yuka fi umazidah. Ya Rabbana lakal hamdu kama yang bagi lijala wajhika wa azim sultanik. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Allahumma inna nasaluka salamatan fi din Wa'afitan fi jasad Wazitan fi ilmi Wa barakatan fi rizki Wa taubatan qabla maut Wa rahmatan indal maut Wa ma'firatan pada maut Allahumma hawin alayna fi sakarati maut Wa najati minan nar wa awfal indah hisab Rabbana taqabalna minal du'ana Inna tasami ulim Wa tum alayna ya mulala Inna ka antabu rahim Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahli wa sahbihi wa barik wa salam wa anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Okay, good. You pass this time. So, uh, okay. See you next class. Uh, let's end with Asbiki Farah and Sotala. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu an la ilaha ila anta nastawfiruka wa natubu ilaik. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal asu inna al-insana lafi khus illa al-lazina amanu wa amil salihat. Wa tawasa bil haq wa tawasa bil salih. Okay, thank you. Aiman, can you tell Faiz to come to the lab as well? I'll be going to the lab roughly maybe 10, 30 or 11. Okay, madam. I'll contact him. Uh, madam, do you want? Okay, nanti. I will PM you in group. Okay, Assalamualaikum everybody. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.